Hi guys, welcome to another block spotlight. Today we're going to be having a look at the the first block that we're looking at uh, from the Universal Electricity or and its associated mods. Now Universal Electricity is an API and uh, I think this block is from the, the basic components which is the, the main uh, set, of, set of machines that Universal Electricity provides or uh, the, the starting blocks for it. Uh, now there are other mods which will expand from this but this is the starting point and uh, we're going to start looking at the coal generator which is your first uh, method of of gaining power and as you might guess it just takes coal and it will generate uh, electricity at 120 volts which it tells you on the uh, on the GUI there so let's have a look at how we make that now to start off with we're going to need some wire and the insulated copper wire that uh, you need for this requires leather on the outside of three copper ingots now as far as I'm aware you can amend the config file to make this leather require wool so then you'd have wool either side of copper ingots but by default the recipe is leather so leather quite quite um i i feel that that's quite expensive as a starting option but that that's just me now uh the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a motor and a motor is steel ingots around an iron ingot with four of those insulated copper wires in the corners and again steel is not particularly uh, an easy early game thing to get there's apparently some ways to get it um, using universal electricity but depending on which of those mods you have installed will depend how easy or not it is to get your steel ingots um, otherwise you're kind of waiting around until you get your blast furnace from Railcraft before you can get your steel uh, which seems a little bit strange to me uh, then to actually make your coal generator you have a furnace with a motor and you can either use steel or bronze around that so not a particularly cheap option if you ask me um, certainly not something that uh, you can really look at getting early on which is surprising considering the nature of it I would assume that this would be an early game item but uh, choosing steel as part of the motor kind of pushes this for me to kind of mid game after you got your blast furnace I haven't really played with this too much though so I, I'm willing to be proven wrong so let me know in the comments if if I've got that completely wrong uh, certainly if you're using mechanism as well the, the recipe the easy recipe for um, steel ingots is not available um, let's see there's just melting stuff down in the blast furnace seems to be the only real way to get, get your steel which, uh, as I say, seems a bit of an expensive way of doing it. Now, what we've got here, the just to show you as I break the ground, um, this will take either coal or charcoal. Now, it won't take cold coke. I have tried it with cold coke. And as you see here, uh, they're not actually generating because they don't have anywhere for the power to go you need to have somewhere for the power to go and as soon as you make that connection this is just a, a battery box um, what's going to happen is the generator is going to heat up and then once it's heated up it will start generating power and it will tell you here how much power it's generating and that is then going to go down the wire into this uh, battery box which we can see there now the coal one is doing exactly the same thing and as you can see it seems to be going at about the same rate so uh, 
coal and charcoal worth the same as far as the coal generator is concerned. And, and that is it basically. Now we'll just see how far that goes up. I don't know if... Um, now I have a, a meter here, a handheld multimeter and this is from I think electrical expansion and this is actually quite quite expensive proposition to make um, very very involved recipe for this multimeter advanced circuit certainly not the cheapest option there uh, but what this is going to let, let us do is we can check to see how much power is is coming down here and as you can see that's six six and a half amps it's still going up at the moment at 120 volts so it's working on uh, almost realistic uh, kind of values there kilowatts and amps volts a lot like uh, red powers voltage that looks like it's capped out at 20 kilowatts so that's 10 kilowatts each uh, yep 10 kilowatts each is the max and once you get to that point there we are we're filling up our battery at a fairly decent right now that's quite a big battery that's an advanced one um, so there we go the coal generator I'm I'm assuming at the moment that this is the starting point now there are other generators around which, which we will also take a look at at some point um, wow typing generator is really not helpful at the moment <laughs> with all the tool tips that they've added uh, there are there is another generator that apparently they are this heat generator which I think runs on lava which which requires platinum instead and some enriched iron which is possibly easier to make so maybe we'll take a look at this heat generator another time fairly soon just so that we can compare the two but um, I think the coal generator would strike me as being one of the early ones it may, I may well be proved wrong and the heat generator is the first one and the coal generator would be the, the upgrade to that but we'll see uh, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe buttons. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter and all the fun stuff. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.